Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be my October birch box. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing. So the first product in here is the Coastal, Coastal Scents um, Blush and Bronzer Palette. So the full size palette retails for $19.95. Um, unfortunately, that's what I don't really like about birch boxes. They make it really difficult to like find how much everything is. So this, this sampler, I can't, I mean, it's like, it has plastic on it and it's, um, one blush and one highlighter from the palette. Um, but I am actually not even going to open this. Um, I'm going to, I was talking about in my Ipsy bag how I like to put little bags together and donate to the women's shelter. I'm actually just going to put this straight in one of those bags because it is sealed. It is kind of nice, um, that they both come in here. Um, and then maybe like a brush that I haven't used, like a new brush. Um, and I'll donate that to someone else so that they can have something like this. And I know that I won't ever get any use out of this. So there's no point in like trying it on for one video when I can donate it to someone else who will get, who will use it the whole thing. But so that's the first item in the box. Um, this box overall I think was just a little bit disappointing for me. Um, but that's okay. So the next thing was this perfume. So this is the vanilla grapefruit um, perfume by La Vanilla. So I mean, it smells okay. It's kind of spicy. I mean, it's grapefruit scented and I love grapefruit. Oh, there's a vanilla, but I, I just don't wear scents like this ever. So it doesn't really make any sense for me. I also really hate perfume samples, which I know is silly because that's how you like try out a perfume, right? And so maybe I'll like go through them all and find out which one I like once I like use up all the perfumes that I have. But I just don't, I would rather get makeup or skincare or something, like even a hand lotion. Like I'd rather get pretty much anything besides a perfume sample. That so next problem, product in the bag is Birchbox does let you choose one product and this is actually the product that I picked. So this is the Way Hair K Rose Hair and Body Oil um, and it's rose so it is a little like greasy so I was just wiping it off but it does smell like rose and um, you just a little bit goes a long way. I know I've um, had a sample of this before and you can just like rub it on your body and it's moisturizing and makes it just like kind of shine, gives it a really healthy shine. Um, you can use it in your hair. Using oil as my hair is, I kind of like it. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't really know how I feel because sometimes it gets just too much and then my hair gets annoyed with it. But I mean, I did really want to like get a bigger size and kind of try it out more fully. So this is the product that I got. The full size of this retails for $32 and you can really use this anywhere on your body. So it's it's pretty good. I mean, I was excited that it was one of the offerings. The other three, like, choose things weren't super exciting. So I was happy that I got to pick this one. So the next product in here is um, this. It's all in French, so I had to figure it out. But it is um, the Embroilice um, Late Cream Concentrate. So 24-hour miracle cream. And it is, you can use it anywhere. So it feels like a medicine tube like it feels like it has like that metal tube instead of like just a normal plastic one and it has like the thing on the top where you like open it and it comes out and it just kind of reminds me of like neosporin which is i mean i need neosporin sometimes don't get me wrong but like it's not exactly what i want like face cream to feel like i don't know it doesn't really smell like anything which is nice it is a french company which is why all everything on the box and on the directions were in french so that was a little interesting. I don't know. I'll probably use this. I mean, my lips get really dry. My elbows get really dry. And I need something usually more nourishing than um, just regular lotion. So I typically have been using, like, the Nourishing Night Cream by e.l.f. Because um, it's super cheap. And it is really nourishing. I really like it, actually. Um, and I've been using that kind of on all the dry areas on my body. And then occasionally also my face. But it just... It's the only thing that's able to provide it with like enough moisture that it actually stops from being like scaly, which is nice and kind of gross, sorry. And then the last product in the box is um, an eyeliner. So it's the Ico London Skinny Liquid Black Liner. That brush is like not skinny though. 
Oh damn. That's pretty, that's pretty black. So this is in the shade Pitch Black. Um, I will just go ahead and apply just a tiny bit of this on my top, along my top lash line. Okay, so the brush is really firm, which is nice because it's not like, as you like go down, it doesn't like bend, which is really helpful. Yeah, but I actually really like this. So um, I'm kind of in the process of trying to find a new liquid liner. Um, I'm currently, I used to use Kat Von D. Um, it worked, but like it wasn't my, it wasn't like I was wed to it. Um, so then I got a Scone Cosmetics liner, which I've been really liking in my Ipsy bag a few months ago. Um, I also got my a Stila liquid liner in my Sephora Play last month that I've been using since. Um, but I really like this one. I think I will continue to use this. The full size of this does retail for $22, so it is a higher end brand. This is not full size, so um, I will continue to use this, and then maybe we'll see if it'll replace my other ones. But yeah, so that's what I got in my box this month for Birchbox. Um, again, I'm not like amazingly impressed with Birchbox at this point. Um, I don't think I will continue after November, but I will have one more box. So if you really like Birchbox and you think I should give it um, another couple chances, please just comment down below. Um, tell me what you got in your box, why you like it, um, if there's a way where I can kind of rate products or curate the box closer to what I want, um, please. And yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, please subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one.